Man, John Cena has announced his retirement. He's been he's been in since two thousand and two. Um, wow, twenty two years. I and you know this is like dear in my heart. I haven't watched wrestling in a while, but I know the Money in the Bank just happened, and you know they racked in a lot of views. And I remember growing up, the Hell in the Cell, the TLC matches, uh, the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys. I mean, the three D, all that was just so fun, man. Growing up, man. Lo I, I remember when it was used to called on WWF. And the WWF, man, I mean, World Wrestling Federation, I mean, they was extreme. We know it was fake, but growing up, I used to hate when people say, oh, man, this is this is fake. I'm like, man, I don't even care. I used to play the video games. I'm talking about SmackDown, Shut Your Mouth. You had The Rock in there, uh, WCW, ECW. I mean, now they got NXT, TNA. I remember TNA Total Nonstop Action. This stuff was uh, amazing, man. It really made my childhood. But I remember when John Cena came out, right, his first debut match was against Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, but then again too, as he had many matches uh, moving on, he started always rapping. So he had this catchy phrase and stuff like Thugonomy, start the Thugonomy. That was, you know, inspired him to be like that. So that was pretty much his aliases. And I remember he was fighting Rey Mysterio. He and he was talking about Rey Mysterio's height, <laughs> talking about how he, uh, like, how I got to baby him. Like he was always used to rhyme and rap. I'm like, okay, here come this guy with a chain. He's a, you know, got that thuggish demeanor. You know, think he's, you know, trying to act like black or whatever. I mean, that's when you're young. You're thinking, you're like John Cena, man. And he was just super entertaining. And uh, that's when he started coming up with his finishers. But, man, you know, he, he rose the ranks up in 2000. I mean, you look at the stats here. His rise to fame. Um, he won his first United States Championship in 2004. And he won his first WWE Championship against JBL in 2005 at WrestleMania 21. That was such a huge event to the point, like, I was... WrestleMania 21 had his own video game, and it was cool. I mean, it had Taz, Taz, uh, Taz Mission. Like, he was talking about it, too, because he was an announcer as well. And just over the years, man, you can't see me. Like, I used, we used to do all of that, man, and I just, I, I loved it. You know, I mean, he won. He's a 16-time champion in general, man. I mean, he won the WWE um, Championship 13 times and the World Heavyweight Championship three times. I mean, he's tied up with Ric Flair. Easily, definitely going to the Hall of Fame. Um, you know, I mean, he, he's up there with, like, Edge, Randy Orton. He played, you know, went against CM Punk, The Rock, Stone Cold, Brock Lesnar. I mean, you know, WrestleMania 28 and 29. So his legacy would definitely live on, man. And uh, I just got to pay tribute to uh, John Cena. Uh, John Cena, he really made this really entertaining. And some people have their opinions about him saying that, oh, because, you know, he's super popular. He ruined wrestling. Some people believe in that ideology. But I had to say this. I don't believe in that. I believe that John Cena, he gave, like, he, he sparked it up. I mean, obviously, yes, they're going to use whatever thing they can to get views. And if you so happen to have that talent and you're that spokesperson, yeah, they're going to put you on a pedestal for the most part. But John Cena did rolls up the ranks. I remember was so many matches he went through. The I quit match when he went his JBL. He, <laughs> I mean, he was just so entertaining. He was just like, he made JBL say, I quit, I quit. And he kept replaying it and he started rapping. But now, um, you know, he was featuring in other, um, you know, other artists like Merz. Uh, you know, he was he was doing that too, man. I mean, he was in uh, 12 rounds, I think. Um, he, he did like a Marine movie. He, you know, so cause I think he was a former Marine, but if I'm not mistaken, but he he did a lot of things, man. And, um, you know, great actor, too, as well. I just saw him in one episode in The Bear. But I just have to say this. I feel like this was definitely appropriate. Hey, John Cena. Hey, man. Thank you for all the years. You're amazing. I used to love playing with him on the uh, wrestling games. So, I mean, the FU, the STFU, when he did it up the notch. Uh, he defeated Chris Jericho and then uh, Eric Bischoff at that time ended up firing him because he's like, whoever wins this match, you know, keeps their job. If not, they get the pink slip and they're out of there. And Chris Jericho was like, oh, my God, you, you, you know, Eric Bischoff was like, oh, man, he told Chris Jericho, you son of a B, get out of my ring. You fire, you fire, get out of my ring. And I was just like, dang, man. So, but hella entertaining. Hell entertaining, man. I mean, that's just probably one of my best ones. Uh, him and Randy Orton used to go against each other. Uh, it was one scene. Um, <laughs> he set this up, too. He was uh, he went to his house and slapped his dad. And I'm like, you know, this is all stage and stuff. And John Cena went in and started, you know, trying to beat him up. He went to Randy Orton's house. It was just a crazy thing. And that was a great story. And that was a good time to be alive. But, yeah, when he came out in the early 2000s, 
I was like, man, he's 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 gonna be special. This guy is hella entertaining, man. I just love his raps, his rap things and his themes and things that he does. So, but at the end of the day, man, I think this is um a really good thing. You know, he put in a lot, put a lot of work into it, and uh, I I don't I can see him being like I said, a wrestling coach and stuff. I know he's been training up a lot of future WWE superstars as well. But that's just like my thoughts on the John Cena thing. Um, you know, tribute to him, really. You know, Thugonomics. Um, yeah, and they say he's he contributions to the wrestling industry extend beyond the ring, well as organizations that make a wish foundation. Yeah. So for many decades, man. So, but thank you for keeping wrestling relevant. One of my favorite wrestlers, man. Besides Rey Mysterio, you know, um, Christian, Chris Jericho. You got X Pac. Road dog, <laughs> all them guys, man. So he fit the story well. Picture it, pictured it pretty good. So you guys continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I love you guys, man. It's your boy Young Lee Jr. I'm out.